Hello and welcome to StuffWorks Explained. This is a channel dedicated to exploring different topical issues from across the globe, but with a special focus on Africa. Join us as we delve into captivating subjects such as groundbreaking projects, current affairs, inspiring initiatives, among others. Our goal is to provide you with valuable insights and knowledge, shedding lights on the remarkable developments taking place across the globe. We strive to keep you informed and engaged. Get ready to embark on an enlightening journey with Staff Works Explained, where curiosity meets discovery. In this video, we'll be looking at Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Power Dam Project. We'll be giving some updates on uh, the progress of the project. We'll be giving some uh, aspects on uh, the components of this dam and also uh, issues that have been raised as far as this dam is concerned. Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Power Dam Project is a large scale uh, project which is an, uh, under construction in Tanzania. The project is located on the Rufiji River in the Silas Game Reserve. The project includes the construction of a uh, 1,200, I mean 1,025 meters long or a compacted concrete dam, a 2,115 megawatt hydroelectric power station, and a 34 cubic meter reservoir. The dam is intended to harness power potential of the Rufiji River and is expected to be one of the largest hydroelectric power, uh, power plants in Africa once it is completed. The main complex of the project include there is a main dam which is a rural compacted concrete dam that is 1000 meters high I mean long and 131 meters high. The dam will impound a reservoir with a capacity of 34 billion cubic meters. There is a powerhouse uh, where electricity generation will take place. The powerhouse will contain the hydroelectric turbines the associated uh, equipments which are required to convert water kinetics energy into electrical energy. We have turbines and generators that are crucial components and uh, they will drive, they will be driven by water uh, from the reservoir. These turbines will rotate generating mechanical energy which will in turn drive the electrical generators to produce electricity. The hydropower uh, station will have the capacity of 2,115 megawatts. The power station will be located on the downstream of the main dam. As of 2023, Tanzania total installed electricity uh, capacity is 1,605 megawatts. Of this, 48% comes from natural gas. That 1% comes from hydropower. 18% from the liquid fuel, and 1% from solar, and 1% from biofuel. Tanzania also imports power from Uganda, uh, 10 megawatts, Zambia, uh, 5 megawatts, and Kenya, 1 megawatts. The other component is the reservoir, which will be created by the main dam, and will have the capacity to store 34 billion cubic meters. The reservoir will be used to store water for the hydro electric power station. There are spillways, uh, there will be two, the main spillway and the emergency spillway. The main spillway will be used to release water from the reservoir during the period of high rainfall. The emergency spillway will be used to release water from the reservoir in the event of dam failure. There will be construction of transmission lines and these will include, uh, I mean these are, these are 400 kilovolt transmission lines which will connect the power stations to the national grid for the purpose of evacuation of power. There are also access roads uh, which will uh, be permanent and temporary and uh, these are meant for the accessing the dam site. The permanent roads will be used to transport construction materials and equipment to the site while the temporary roads will be used for transportation of workers and visitors to the sites. There are bridges and uh, the project will include construction of a permanent concrete bridge over the Rufiji River and two temporary bridges. The permanent bridge will be used to transport vehicles across the river while the temporary bridges will be used to transport construction materials 
and equipment to the site. Uh, there's a, there are saddle dams. Saddle dams are small dams that are built to help impound water into the reservoir. Uh, there's a diversion tunnel which has already been completed. The project will include the construction of a diversion tunnel and uh, these will be used to divert water around the dam site during the construction of the main dam. Uh, there are buildings which will, uh, are supposed to be constructed. The project includes construction of administrative buildings for the project team. The administrative building will house offices, meeting rooms, and storage facilities. There's a residential complex for workers and their families. This complex will include housing units, a school, a hospital, and also a shopping mall. This dam is a major development project in Tanzania and is expected to generate significant amount of uh, electricity to help meet the country's growing needs. The project is also ex expected to create thousands of jobs during the construction phase and also during the operation phase. The project is a complex undertaking that will require construction of a variety of infrastructure as you have seen and its completion is expected to be in 2024. It was expected to be completed in 2022, but this has been pushed forward due to various reasons such as COVID-19 and other supply uh, challenges. Uh, this is one of the projects that the Tanzania government is investing in to meet the country's growing electricity need. With its expected addition of uh, 2,115 megawatts of capacity to the grid, it will go a long way in elevating the energy issues in Tanzania. The current electricity demand in Tanzania is estimated to be around 1,274 megawatts in the median term, that is between 2022 and 2025. And in the long term, this is expected to rise to 1,490 megawatts. This is based on the Tanzania Power System Master Plan, which was made in 2020. In comparison with Kenya, uh, based on the Kenya Power Company's Integrated Resource Plan of 2021 to 2031, as of 2023, Kenya's electricity demand is around 2,056 megawatts. The main drivers of electricity demand in Tanzania are economic growth, population growth, industrialization, and urbanization. The government of Tanzania is targeting to increase the electricity uh, rate or electrification rate from uh, by mean to 25% by 2033. This will require a significant increase in electricity generating capacity. However, there are a number of challenges that Tanzania faces in meeting the electricity demand or needs, and these challenges include high cost of electricity generation, lack of investment in transmission and distribution of infrastructure, and reliable supply of electricity. The government of Tanzania is working to address these challenges. However, it is uh, likely that Tanzania will continue to face some challenges in meeting the electricity needs in the coming years. The peak demand for electricity in Tanzania is currently around 1,000. Majority of electricity demand in Tanzania is concentrated in urban areas. Rural, uh, rural electrification rate in Tanzania is currently around 25, but this, this is targeted to be increased uh, to 75 by year 2033. In comparison, the peak electricity demand in Kenya is currently at 1,900 megawatts. And just like Tanzania, the majority of electricity demand in Kenya is concentrated in urban areas. Rural electrification in Kenya is higher. It's currently around 75%. That's where Tanzania targets to be in 10 years, in the next 10 years. And the government of Kenya is targeting to increase a rural electrification uh, to around 100 percent by year 2023. The completion of uh, Julius Nyerere hydroelectric power dam is expected to significantly increase Tanzania power generation capacity and it will play a crucial role in meeting the country's growing demand in terms of energy. It also aims to generate or to enhance energy security, reduce dependency on fossil fuels, and promote sustainable development in the region. So completion of this project will have a major impact on Tanzania energy uh, mix and also uh, in fueling uh, the development agenda of the country. Uh, we expect that the project is going to be completed in 2024. Currently, 
it's uh, it's almost 90 percent complete and uh, within the next two years uh, we'll see some progress as far as completion of this dam is concerned we'll keep on updating on the progress of this dam and uh, the impact it will have as far as tanzania and the whole of east africa is concerned so thank you for reaching this far if it's your first time here i encourage you to subscribe to this channel uh you can also watch other videos that we have done on this project and others and uh, welcome for more videos in future thank you